when I was in college, I met a really fabulous man. I fell madly in love, and he asked me if I'd moved to Colorado with him. I said, no, I won't go there. It's landlocked. I spent five days daydreaming, and I said, I'll go, but we have to buy a school bus and turn it into a hippie house. Then it'll be this great adventure that I have always wanted to have. I went on this mission and bought this giant bus. We yanked out all the seats, put a kitchen in it and a deck on the roof. Wow, we turned it into a house bus. And then we drove it to Colorado. We were traveling to go to school. When we got there, we had no money, no friends, and we were driving this giant gas guzzling monster that was really hard to park. We were trying to figure out how we are going to make enough money to get a, like, a place to live, because it was going to snow. I'm from California, snow scares me. And since I was nine, I knew I wanted to, but I'd never been in the right sort of environment. So I looked at my husband and I said, I think I'd like to go into the adult business to make some money. He said, well, if you really want to do that, I'll totally support it. So I threw my arms around him and said, yay! Then I proceeded to locate the strip clubs in Denver. I figured I'd just stroll in and get a job stripping. I wanted to be prepared. So I spent 25 of the 40 bucks I had in some little negligee store. Bought this little lacy panty thing. I danced around the bus. Ooh, I thought I'd be the greatest stripper ever. I went to a place in Boulder called the Bus Stop. I thought it was perfectly fitting. I went in, I said, I want to be a stripper. They looked me up and down in this little lacy thing and said, no, you can't dance in that. There are rules. You have to wear clothing that covers everything. No pubic hair. I sulked away, thinking, damn it, I'm never going to make it in this business. Rejected before I even got on stage. <sighs> but I found some panties that actually covered everything. I looked in the paper and found there was a brand new strip club opening in Denver. They needed a dancer. So I called them up and got an audition. At the time, I'd been so broke that I only had one pair of high heels. And they didn't have a little plastic thing covering the heel, so it was just the nail sticking right out onto the floor. This club had brand new immaculate stages. I don't know if they could tell how screwed up my shoes were, if they could just see how nervous I was, but they asked me if I wanted to dance barefoot. Oh my god, yes. I didn't want to gouge their floors all to hell. So I got on stage barefoot, and their sound system didn't work yet. So I danced to Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze playing in my head. <laughs> I shook my ass and played it in my head, and I avoided that pole. I didn't know what to do with that thing, that stripper post. Whoa, I was terrified. But they gave me the job just the same. Told me the grand opening was just a week away. I stripped out of this long forest green dress from J.C. Penney's. I got home and counted my money. I made 62 whole dollars. At the time I'd been so broke, I thought this was a lot of money. Wow! 62 bucks? Awesome! This is the greatest job ever. I kept doing it, but the bus was eating all the money. I was making just enough money to put in the gas tank, get home, maybe get some food, and then get back to the strip club to do it all over the next day in the bus. I realized pretty rapidly that I just wasn't making enough money to exist on. So I started looking for the other strip clubs in Denver, wandering around. In the process of that, I met this old, haggard woman. This woman who you could just tell had been beaten up by the sex industry. She came into one of these clubs with her boyfriend, her pimp, and looked me up and down. Mm, get out of here. Get out of here before this industry gobbles you up. She's so young and so pretty. This job is a trap. You're never going to have another job. What are you talking about, old lady? You're just a crazy, worn out old hooker. I'm going to have another job. This is just a college gig. I'm going to make some money so we can eat and pay the rent and get through school. I'm going to get a degree in math. And my husband, he's going to be an electrical engineer and a physicist. What do you mean, never have another job? Pish posh. I kept dancing in the clubs for six months. Then I met a woman who was opening an escort service. She wanted me to be her dominatrix. You go to these boys and you tie them up and you beat them. You get a little spanking. 
to pay you lots of money. Oh, that'll be great fun for everybody. No, right? I'll try it. We'll see. The first night I went out, I took my husband with me. He sat in one room while I went in the other room and danced for this boy. I had this really pretty blue satin dress on, came down just below my knees, and matching blue pumps. I had a little scarf, and so as I danced for this boy, I took the scarf off, I tied his wrists up, I teased him with my big booty. Yeah. Yeah, this is a much better job than hustling for dollar bills in the strip club all day. But I didn't want to jump the gun. I figured I'd do this at night and work in the strip clubs during the day. I figured it might be a nice supplement. The next day I got to the club and there was this stripper there. She could grab the handle. It was this hook in the ceiling. She could grab it, spread her legs, and hump the ceiling. Her name was Pandora. You're making too much money in this club. After work in the parking lot, I'm gonna kick your ass. Then she walked back over to the table and started doing shots of tequila. Oh, I took my sorry little white girl self back to the dressing room. I put my tall shoes in my bag and I left. I left right away. I didn't wait. I didn't tip anybody out. I didn't give any the bartender or the doorman or anyone. I just left. I'm not sticking around to mess with Pandora. I'm out of here. I decided right then that this dominatrix out call thing, it was gonna be great. I went home and told my husband. And then I called the escort lady. I said, I'm in. I'll be your dominatrix. Call me whenever you need me. Then I called my mom. 